we've got two main types of experiments, AB experiment and split URL experiment. A split URL experiment is more useful in a scenario where you might have a specific landing page and you're testing different versions of it that do not consist of just a simple copy change or image change. Perhaps you've got a full layout remake and you're testing many changes at once. In these scenarios, it might make sense to just um, set the base URL for your experiment and set the variants, which are basically different URLs inside of your website where the user will be redirected to. These type of experiments are fairly straightforward, so I'm not going to spend much time on them now. Let's take a look at A-B experiments. So for A-B experiments, we also need to decide on a base URL for our experiment. The difference between A-B and split URL are that in A-B experiment, the user doesn't leave the page he arrives to, right? So perhaps um, in an A-B experiment, you're testing different H1 copy changes and seeing what works best. You can set a static URL as an entry point, or you can set more advanced rules. I'm not going to spend time looking at the advanced rules because you've got a separate tutorial to look into those. For this example, we'll proceed with our static URL and we can already go to our experiment. We can decide which audience we wanna target based on device rules, country rules, visitor type, whether it's new or a returning visitor, and URL parameters, for example, you might have a pay-per-click campaign and you wanna target or exclude traffic stemming from this campaign. This is something you can perfectly do with the advanced URL rules we were just talking about. You will mainly be editing your variants, most probably through our visual editor, but you can always inject your own CSS or JavaScript if you already have a script that'll take care of the changes you wanna make. Once you install our snippet, our visual editor is able to spin up inside of your website, inside of the URL you provided for the experiment. And here you'll be able to make all sorts of copy changes manual, manually, for example, or you might as well um, generate AI recommended H1s based on the context of your website and your industry. There's a full tutorial on how to work with our visual editor. So again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Let's just go with this change, save and finish. The other important thing to call out before we are ready to launch is the setup of our conversion. I've already got a few set up, but um, if you don't have any yet, go ahead and create one. We've got a tutorial for this step too. In our scenario, I'm going to track visits to the thank you page, let's say, set go. And by the way, you can always select secondary conversions, perhaps actions that take place before the main conversion you're interested in. It could be clicks to a CTA, could be clicks to um, any type of element or visits to any type of URL. If you want to switch the traffic allocation, now is the time to do it. We'll just go with 50-50 and we're ready to launch. Oops, so it's telling me that I've already got an ongoing experiment for the page I'm targeting. So I'm gonna allow a parallel experiments on this other experiment that was running at the same time. And now, yeah, I can proceed. That's it guys. Um, again, if you need any details, you can look into the more specific segmented uh, tutorials.